now you can see once I run it show it says enter how many number now let's check our example here we have to print one two three four five six six number so let make it six and enter so you can see that here from today to next few classes we will create some series calculations program in java so our today's problem statement is something like that we have to create a program to print the following series like 1 4 9 16 25 36 and dot 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 where how many number or how many time we have to print the number that will be inputted by users now if you check this series and think of this so you can see that first time we have to print one then if it's a second time then it will 4 for third time it will be 9 for fourth time it will be 16 similar way it is going on now if you try to understand this series so you can see first time we are trying to print 1 and if it's a first time and if we make 1 square that will be 1 if it's a second time and we make 2 square then that will be 4 if it's a third time and we make 3 square that will be 9 if it's a fourth time then if we make four square it will be 16 so this series is nothing but square of each times right now if you think it from program perspective so you already learn some for loop while loop concept right and that will be some iterations and each iterations we are trying to do some square of that particular iteration so if it's a iterations one so it will be one square if it's a iteration two it will be two square if it's a iteration 3 then 3 square similar way we can print this and here how many time we have to print or how many number we have to print that will be inputted by user so we can easily understand from our last few classes that for that case as we know the count of iterations in advance so we can easily use for loop so let's check it in a flow so if you check this my program start here then we can take input from user this n is nothing but taking input from user how many time or how many numbers you want to put in this series now we are initialize i with one for iterations then if i less than equal to n n means our number that time we want to print that series now it will check this one if i less than equal to n it will go here and print that iteration square that's mean i square and again increment that i plus 1 then it will go here again check is i less than equal to n if yes then it will again print that iteration square and again increment that one and that's why the iterations loop will running till that conditions true and when it's get false it will exit from this loop now let's check this with some value in excel then we will try to do that one in eclipse now let's say user input a value that is n is equal to 4 okay and our first iteration says that i is equal to 1 and is i less than equal to 4 yes this is true so that's mean this is my iterations number 1 and here once it is true then it will print i square so currently my i is 1 so i square is nothing but it will print 1 okay then it will increment i with plus 1 that means now i is equal to 2 and it will go here and in second iteration it will check 2 less than equal to n n mean 4 so in my second iteration it will check is 2 less than equal to 4 yes again it will square that 2 that means 2 into 2 that will be 4 in my second iteration it will then print 4 then it will go here and increment i with 1 that's mean now my i is 3 it will go here again check 3 less than equal to 4 yes so that's mean in my third iterations it will go again here and it will print 3 into 3 that is nothing but 9 then it will increment that i value 3 plus 1 that is 4 now it will go again here and it will check i less than equal to 4 yes then it will go again in fourth iterations and in fourth iterations it will again print 4 square that's mean 4 into 4 that is nothing but 16 and it increment i 4 plus 1 that is 5 and it will go here and it will check is 5 less than equal to 4 no then it will just exit from this loop so finally we will get this series 
that is 1, 4, 9 and 16 based on our value inputted that is basically 4. 4 time or numbers we need in the series is 4. Fours. So that's why it is getting 1 then 4 then 9 and then 16. If we put it like 5, 6, 7 based on that the iterations will increase and we will get the square of each iterations. Now let's do the same example or same step in Eclipse. So open your Eclipse ID. This is open for me and I have created series demo one class and this is under a new package com.demo.series and here this is my main class. Now save this file using control S and double click here to get a wider view. Now go to that flow again and check that how many number or variable we have to create. So we have to create an input variable n. So create a variable let's say int n then we have to give an statement to user to put the value of n. So create a system dot out dot print ln statement and put an statement like enter how many numbers. Once user get this statement he will try to enter some value. So that value will be collected under n and to collect that value definitely we have to take the help of scanner class. So create an instance of scanner class here. So I have created an instance of scanner class and I have to give the import here right. So put the import here that is java.util.scanner. Now my scanner class instance is ready and we have to collect the input value under this n variable. So make n is equal to sc dot as it's an integer then definitely it will be next int. So my input is collected and my scanner class work is done. So as I told in our last session to maintain the best practice always close this scanner class instance now using sc dot close. Okay so once my scanner class instance is closed now I have also collected the n value which is inputted by user that is basically number of time I have to print that series. Now go to this flow again. Now here my for loop start with i as a value is equal to 1. So let's create a for loop here. So this is my for loop and my for loop start here and then end here. Save the file using control s. Now what I have to do under this for loop so you can see here that I have to print that i square. So create a system dot out dot print ln statement here and simply put i square that mean i into i. Now think about that once we check in this flow or our published statement that is basically we have to give the print in a single line right. So and in between each number we have a space here. So we can beautify this code like instead of print ln we can use print here and once this i square get calculated and printed here we can also create a space here using plus then double quote and create two space then save it using control s. So if you now check this flow so we have already created a input variable take the input then we initialize i with 1 and create our for loop and under this for loop we have printed i square or i into i. Now our program is ready just save it using control s now double click here and let's check by run it. So now you can see once I run it show it says enter how many number. Now let's check our example here we have to print 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 number so let make it 6 and enter so you can see that we are getting the same number that is basically our problem statement 149 then 16 25 36 so it is coming like that 149 16 25 36 if you run it again and put some different value let's say 10 so you can get 10 times the square of the iteration that's mean 1 then 4 then 9 then 16 so this way you can create a series calculations program whose problem statement is like this i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel